Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Internet Computer Developer Journey. In today's episode 3.1 from Toco Package Managers, we'll be reviewing the available package managers for managing Matoko packages. To get started, we're going to go over a brief overview of what a package manager is, and then we're going to take a look at how to install and use the two package managers that are available for Matoko. So Matoko supports Mops and Vessel as package managers. A package manager is a collection of tools that automates installing, upgrading, configuring, and removing software packages or libraries. They help efficiently manage the dependencies of a project and some popular package managers for other languages may include NPM or Node Package Manager for the Node.js language or Cargo for Rust. With Matoko, Mops supports over 60 libraries and these libraries span all sorts of different functionalities such as utility, encoding, cryptography, data structure libraries, and more. Package managers are useful since they help simplify things such as update management since they provide an easy way to update all libraries that are used within your project. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Mops. Mops is fully on chain, so it's hosted entirely on ICP. To install Mops, first you want to make sure that you have the developer environment set up that we set up in module 0.3. And you want to make sure that you're using DFX version 0.10.0 and higher. So to get started, you can install MOPS with the command npm i or npm i g and then ic MOPS. And we can see that it's going to fetch the package from N npm. and we can see that it was installed properly. Then Vessel is another package manager that can be used with Matoko. And to, to download this, we are going to download the Vessel binary from the GitHub release page. It's important to note that you can use one package manager or the other, you don't need to download both. However, there are different supported packages in both of them. So there may be a need for using both depending on the packages that your project intends to use. For this tutorial, we will be exploring how to use both just to make you familiar with the options and how to use each. Um, so for Vessel, we're going to install the Vessel binary. So for this, we're going to use the wget command. And then I'm just going to copy the URL here. And then we can see that that gets downloaded and then we want to rename it. Um, so we are going to use the move command or MV to rename it and then it downloaded as vessel hyphen Mac OS. And we just want to change it to simply vessel. And then we also need to change the permissions of this binary so that we can execute it. So we're going to use the chmod command and we want to use the plus sign and X mean we're means we're adding the execute permission and then the file name of a vessel. And then if we want to initialize this, we will run vessel in it in the project's root folder. But so to then further use the package manager, we need a project to get started with. So we're going to create a new project. And for this, I'm going to be using the latest version of DFX. So it's going to be this DFX version 0.17.8 zero and newer tab. If you're using an older version of DFX, you can use the instructions on the second tab. So I'm going to first make sure that DFX is running. So DFX start, clean background. And I can see that I already have DFX running. And then I'm going to create a new project with DFX new. And then I'm going to call it Mops example. And I'm going to have this be in Matoko. And then I'm going to select no front end canister since we won't be using a front end canister. And then I'm not going to add any extra features. And so then we will navigate into that new MOPS examples folder. And now to add MOPS as a package manager, we need to open our 
dfx.json file. So I'm going to open up my IDE, which is VS Code. And I'm just going to place it on the side here. And we want to open our developer journey folder, which for me is down here. And then this mops example repository that we just created. And then we'll need to open the dfx.json file. So here we can see just by default, since I selected no front end canister, I have just the single back end canister. And then down here in pack tool, we can see that there currently isn't anything listed. It just has empty quotes. And so in this set of empty quotes, we're going to insert mops sources. And then we're going to save this file. So I'm just going to hit command S. And then back in the terminal, I can initialize this with mops in it. And then here we want to select whether we want to use MOPS packages or we want to publish a package to MOPS. And so for this, we just want to use MOPS packages in the project. And then we can determine if we want to set up a GitHub workflow or not. For this, I'm just going to select no. And then it is going to run some background processes to fetch the default packages for my version of DFX, install some dependencies and then we are all set. So now we can start adding packages to MOPS. So to install a package with MOPS, you need to specify the package in the MOPS.toml file within the project. So if we go back to our IDE, we can see that this is now a new file, this MOPS.toml file, and we can open that. And the only package we have in here is the base package. And we can see that this is by default here, but if we wanted to add this package, we could use the command mops add base, or we could directly use the GitHub URL for the package. So we could use mops add and then the link to the Matoko base library. And we could go even further and we could specify the branch, the commit hash or the tag. So if we wanted to, instead of installing 0.10.4, if we wanted to instead install the Matoko base package of 0.9.1, we could use that hash instead. And alternatively, we could also use a locally stored package so we could put the source files of that package in our projects directory, and then we could add them with mops add and then the file to the command, the end of the command here. So we could use any of these workflows to add files into this. But since we already have the base command, let's go and find a mops package that we want to add. So we can go to the homepage for mops, and that is at the URL of mops.1 or mops.one. And let's just take a look at a package that we can just add for um, demonstration purposes. So I've just selected this stable buffer. And so we can see that the install command here is mops add stable buffer. So let's go to our command line here and use mops add stable buffer. And then we can see that MOPS is going to download and install the necessary packages for supporting stable buffer. And then if we open back up our IDE, we can see that our MOPS.toml file has been updated um, by the CLI there to now include stable buffer package um, at the version of 1.0.1. And we can use another one. We can go ahead and add the test library as well. So we can use mops add test. And it's going to have the same behavior. It's going to download and install it. And then it's going to add it to our mops.toml file. So 
So once we've got all of our packages for our project in this file, they are just downloaded locally, but they aren't yet installed. So to install them, we need to use the mops install command. And then it's going to take everything that's listed in this file and it's just going to install them locally. Mops also allows you the ability to develop packages that you'd like to publish so that other developers can use them. And you can publish them using the um, workflow that we looked at when we used the mops init command and it gave us the option if we wanted to um, just use mops packages or if we wanted to publish it. And you can learn more about publishing a package to mops in the documentation uh, linked in this tutorial. So alternatively to use Vessel, if you want to put a, pull a package using the Vessel package manager, you're going to want to edit the vessel.dhall file to include what packages you want to import. And then you're going to edit your dfx.json file to instead use the pack tool of Vessel sources. So that would be when you go into dfx.json and you have the pack tool hours we configured to be mops sources. If you wanted to use vessel instead, you would just use vessel sources and then you would put them, the packages that you'd like to use in this vessel.dhall file instead of this mops.toml file. And then importing packages into Matoka, we've already touched on this and we did this quite a bit in our previous tutorial of 2.6 Matoka level two. We imported um, several libraries from the base library such as text. And we also used um, the Matoko matchers library in the uh, tutorial using unit integration and end-to-end -end testing. Um, so packages are imported using this import, then the name of the package, and then the name of the library where the package is stored. So that'll wrap things up for today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to like and subscribe to the Definity YouTube channel so you are notified when new episodes of the developer journey are released. In the next episode, 3.2, we're going to be taking a look at, at how to use HTTPS outcalls in our DAP in order to get information from external sources that are hosted outside of the ICP blockchain. So be sure to check in for that episode as well. If you have any questions, you can check out our thread on the Definity Developer Forum dedicated to the Developer Journey series where you can ask questions or leave feedback. And you can also check out the Definity Developer Discord server to chat with other developers on their developer journey. That'll wrap things up for today. Take care.